not the shot we wanted another duft bunker shot and in today's lesson we're going to fix those duft bunker shots okay so the three things that i want to talk to you about that first one that weight placement what i did in that original shot there if we get the ball in the middle of my stance now what i did was make sure that as i lent my weight i put it more towards my backside my trail side and the reason i did that was to make sure that my club bottomed out too early because when this happens we know that in a bunker we're not trying to hit ball then sand we're trying to take the sand first let the loft and the sand actually lift the ball out of the bunker but when i get too much sand too early it takes all the speed and all the force out of the club that's transferred into the ball hence why it only duffed a couple of feet out in front of me so what i actually need to do to make sure that i do get that inch before the golf ball let the club go underneath pass under the golf ball and then carry on out through is make sure that my weight is more towards my lead side as I do this. So what I would want to see as I take my address, and obviously when we're in a bunker, it's not stable as well, our footing. We've got to get a little bit wider and we've got to make sure we shimmy in and get our good footing. But from there then, what I would like to see is that you lean 70% of your weight into your lead side here. So that's gonna allow me now, when I have that ball placed a little bit more up towards my lead side here, a couple of inches in front of the middle, once I've got this weight now into my lead side, I can keep it in there, let the club go in just behind the golf ball, pass under, and then come out the other side, letting the sand lift the golf ball out of the air because probably that's one of the most common faults that I see. If we looked at it from this angle, you'll see a player who stands leaning back in the A to try and lift the golf ball out, and as they hit it, they almost look like they're falling back towards you there. We don't want that. We want to see that we're going down underneath the sand. You've got a lot of loft on this golf club when you select your sand wedge or your lob wedge. Let that do the work and make sure that you're getting the club underneath the golf ball is point one. Point two is that grip. What I don't see from a lot of people is probably playing a bunker shot with the right grip. Now we have our grip for our full swing, grip for a putter, grip for a bunker shot is gonna be slightly different because what we need to do is create a lot of angle between the lead wrist and the lead forearm and the shaft, and then also add a little bit more loft onto the club face to allow that to slide the, underneath the ball and get it up. So what we're gonna do is play with a butterfly grip, which is where the hands are gonna be a bit more like so. So what we're gonna do is take our lead hand and we're gonna get that a little bit stronger. So the kink in our wrist now, this little bit of cupping here is gonna be a bit more excessive. So it'll look like a stronger grip. Then your trail hand, your right hand for me as a right-handed golfer is gonna be a little bit weaker. So so it looks again a little bit like this butterfly and like I say the reason for doing that the lead wrist with the little bit more kink is going to allow me to hinge it a little bit more so I'm going to get good angles to deliver down into the sand the trail hand being a little bit weaker is actually going to get a little bit more loft on the club face and get the ball a little bit higher for us so instead of your normal grip maybe being too strong or too weak we're going to go strong lead hand weak trail hand going to allow us to hinge going to allow us to get some loft and allow us to go through the third and final one that i mentioned was confidence and the reason that we need confidence is because when I watch a lot of bunker players, it's almost like they're scared to make a full swing. Yes, it's not going to be your normal tempo swing or your normal full swing, because as I actually hit down, I'm hitting the sand, I'm not hitting the ball cleanly. So my 58 degree that on a full swing goes 95 yards, probably only going to go about 10 yards out here because of this big mound of sand that I'm getting between the golf ball and the club face. So what we need to make sure is that we're not making the long swing that we saw in my earlier shot and then the very short follow through almost a stab down into the sand. We need to make sure that we go the appropriate length back down in take the sand and then follow on through into that follow through allowing 
the sand to do the job. If we can couple these together, like I say, getting a little bit more weight towards our lead side, getting the grip in the butterfly motion and making a confident swing into a good follow through, we should see that we stop duffing our bunker shot. So let's give it a go. Lead side with the weight, good butterfly grip and a confident swing. And that nice slap on the sand there. Ball comes popping out and I've got about a 10 foot putt for a par. Guys, go through that and you will start to see that you stop duffing your bunker shots. Hopefully you can take that on board and take it out onto the golf course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in your next video.